All right, guys, we have a very, very important package to go pick up right now. I am at the gym. I just got done. It is, what time is it? Hold on. It is 8 p.m. right now, and we're gonna go home. We're gonna get this package. We're gonna unbox it, and we're gonna talk a little bit about like the future plans with this thing, but I'm so excited. I can't believe it. It's finally here. Let's go. This bad boy just arrived. If you guys know, you know. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, then that's why you won't know exactly what this is. If you guys wanna join the Discord, link will be down in the description of this video for you guys to join. If you guys wanna join a cool little community that I've started on Discord, then go ahead and click that link and get in there. But I've been waiting on this thing for a little bit now, ever since it got announced, and I was hesitating on pulling the trigger, but I think I made the right decision in buying this thing. I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you guys what this is. I can't wait to set it up. I can't believe it's finally here. Before we do that, I'm going to shower really quick since your boy just came back from the gym, so I'm a little stinky. We're gonna hit the shower. I'll be right back. Give me a second. A few moments later. Okay, so now that we're all showered, cleaned up, and ready to go, Couple things are happening right now. One, I'm recording this video, obviously, and we're gonna unbox this. The second thing is I'm also live streaming right now on YouTube, so there is going to be two things happening at once, so it may get confusing. I will do my best. This is kind of just impromptu. I didn't know that I was going to be live streaming this thing, but I kind of wanted to live stream it, get some of the community who are already following. If you guys aren't subscribed already and want to be a part of my live streams, I'm gonna be live streaming a lot more on this channel and doing these sorts of things. So if you are curious and want to be a part of the community, definitely join in and subscribe. But like I said, there will be two things going on at once. There's gonna be this microphone here. There's gonna be a separate POV. There's like three different cameras going on right now. So that being said, Let's get this unboxing started. As always, Apple always has their nice little arrow for the unboxing, if you guys can't see that. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can the stream see it? Nice little arrow. That would have been some nice little ASMR right there. Okay. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, 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 guys. Guys, are we seeing this right now? Hold up. Hold on, let me get the let me get the mic in closer so you guys can hear this. A1 on the packaging. Let's get this out. Mmm. Nothing else in the box. That's it. Simple packaging. Nice little slender box for you. Can you see that on, on the video? Mac mini, Mac mini. So for those of you guys who are asking about what spec I got for the Mac mini, this is the base model Mac mini. So 256 gig drive with eight gigs of RAM. I didn't go for the 16 gig because one, I'm impatient and I just didn't want to wait. Two, I saw some videos and reviews on this thing and that eight gigs was actually sufficient enough for Final Cut Pro, which is primarily the reason I decided to pull the trigger on this Mac mini. I, I knew that Final Cut Pro ran great on the 16 inch MacBook Pro that I have with an i9, but with M1, I knew that Final Cut Pro was gonna be way, way better. And my boy Sam, also in the chat right now, he's confirming to me that 4K 120 frames per second clips in the timeline are scrubbing like butter. That's all you need to tell me to sell me on something like this. So I decided, hey, why not? I'll get it sooner. It's cheaper. We're going to test it out. We're going to see what it's like. But this is going to be my main driver as far as editing content. Okay. 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 Drop it from the top. Drop it like it's hot. Come on. Oh, pull that off to the side. A little pull tab here. All right. That's the Mac Mini. What else is in the box? 
What else is in the box? I believe that should be it, aside from the power cable. This should be like their terms of service stuff. Do we get stickers? Wait, we don't get stickers no more? Oh, we got one sticker. One sticker. We got it. We got the sticker. It's, it's huge. I don't know what I'm gonna put this on. I'm not gonna put it on my car. Okay, here's the Mac Mini in its glory. I'm gonna pull the tab. Yeah. Let's unwrap that. So, very, very simple packaging. All you get is the Mac Mini itself and the power cable IO on this thing. A USB 4, Thunderbolt 3, you get one HDMI port, you get a headphone jack, this is your exhaust fan right here, gigabit ethernet, your power adapter, and then your power button. And literally, that's it. Aside from the front where you have your power indicator. Very, very simple. There is the new Mac Mini right there. They don't give out a keyboard, they don't give out a mouse. Out the gate, you're gonna have to supply that yourself. Again, like I said, I got the base model just because from other people and other reviewers that I have listened to, this model seems to be sufficient enough for me and doesn't break the bank. If you are looking for a budget machine, wanna get into the Mac ecosystem and wanna do some very basic stuff and you're not looking to multitask in that sense, then I think the base model is going to do you just fine. I've seen people edit 4K footage. I've seen people edit H.265, not 264, 265 video on this thing and scroll the timeline just fine and I'm sure this thing is going to do great when it comes to coding if you guys are out there as software developers web developers and you're looking for a desktop machine or a cheaper machine than a laptop want to be in the Mac ecosystem and want to do you know some basic code work I'm sure build times and anything that we do as far as coders are going to be just fine on this machine. Now, I'm not going to be doing a in-depth review on this thing as of right now. I just got this thing. I'm going based off of my hunch. I'm going based off of other people's reviews. I have not put this into my workflow yet. This is going to replace my MacBook right here in this setup, primarily. This will be hooked up to the ultra wide. I'm really hoping this thing plugs into the ultra wide and just out the box supports the resolution. I am worried that it might not, who knows? We're going to have to test that out, not in this video, but once I have this thing set up and ready to go, I will do a separate video as far as what apps are on this thing, what my workflow looks like, and what the setup looks like in terms of, you know, replacing the MacBook with the Mac Mini. So that's going to do it for this little unboxing and first impressions. Again, very, very impromptu video, very, very different from what we're used to. Hopefully this thing plays out and lives up to the hype. I'm really, really, again, focusing on the video editing aspect of this thing. I want this thing to crush my timelines because if I want to keep up with the amount of videos that I want to put out, I need speed and efficiency. And I think this thing is going to be the answer, not to say that my i9 16 inch MacBook was slow, but comparatively with M1, I think this thing is going to run a lot better with Final Cut Pro. We're going to test that out. The MacBook Pro is still going to be my daily machine when it comes to code and everything else. Uh, if I need to take things th out on the go, the MacBook's gonna come with me, obviously. MacBook is still going to be in use. I'm not tossing this out just yet, don't worry. It's still gonna be used heavily for coding and things like that. This is primarily gonna be used for content creation. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions regarding the Mac Mini, if you guys have run into your own issues if you have an M1 at home and want to spread the knowledge in the comments, please do so. That section is open to you. But if you guys enjoyed the video again, just hit the like button, hit subscribe. That would genuinely help me out. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.